Coming up on Sunrise, several big carriers are rolling out new data plans. We'll tell you how to weed out the competition and find the best plan that's right for you. Plus, John Kerry arrived in Iraq this morning. Find out why the Secretary of State is there and hear his plans for the visit. And a preliminary hearing is set this afternoon in the battle over the ownership for the Los Angeles Clippers. We'll have the latest in that, that hearing. Today is Monday, June 23rd, and Sunrise starts when, Joey? Uh, yesterday. Now. <laughs> right now. From KYMA Studios, this is News 11 Sunrise, your number one source for news in the desert southwest. Can't get over my little fan. I was just about to say, Joey, there. you're still being cool. <laughs> it's like something that you get from a fair or something like that. It has a little writing on it and stuff. But you guys ever had pennies? I've yet to try it. I have uh, had. What are they, Alex? Uh, hash browns. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big one that Ooh. I couldn't remember. They're like loaded hash browns or something like that. They were really good, though. I might yeah. need to go there today. You have to. It's right, basically right across the yeah. street over there. So, uh, um. Very good breakfast. I love their breakfast. So they want us to be cool at Penny's Diner, but mm -hmm. tell us, how cool are we going to stay with You're this gonna weather You're going to need a bigger here? fan than that, that's for sure. Let's go there and Is check my out. Beyonce going? <laughs> Welcome back. Well, Stevie Wonder and Cloris Leachman both got honorary degrees at Northwestern University on Friday. Leachman got quite a few laughs when she grabbed the medal from the school's president's neck and put it around her own. The director of the Chicago Symphony gave the keynote address. He told grads to put down their smartphones and start understanding each other. And Hope Solo, the U.S. woman soccer star, was arrested overnight for allegedly assaulting her sister and teenage nephew. Police responded to a 911 call made from a home in Kirkland, which is near Seattle. The caller said that a woman was hitting people and she wouldn't stop or leave. People say that 32-year-old Hope Solo was intoxicated and upset. She was arrested and charged with two counts of fourth-degree domestic violence. Solo is expected to remain in custody until her first court appearance this morning. And Universal Orlando is christening its Harry Potter-themed Diagon Alley attraction this week. There was a media preview today, and several cast members from the film series were on hand for a red carpet event last night to check out the results. The new attraction, which is part of the Universal Studios Park, had a new 3D roller coaster called Harry Potter and the Escape from Green Gut. The project's attention to detail impressed the men who played Draco Malfoy and Neville Longbottom in the Potter films. Uh, it's pretty emotional, yeah. A lot of the childhood memories come come flooding back, and, and now they see they've uh, you know they've made it even more of a, uh, an immersive experience. So yeah, very emotional at times. The sets were, were great that we had at, at Leesden, uh, but now this is, uh, this is just something completely different. This is just um, completely immersive, and uh, the, the, the level of detail is, sure. is just it, second to none. Well, it was such an immersive experience from the, of the original part. Yes. I mean, now you can go in between uh, sort of all the different worlds, connected wonderfully with the Hogwarts Express. It, it really is uh, quite the experience. Katie Couric ties the knot, and let's see who took over the top spot at the weekend box office. List Katie Couric got married Saturday to banker John Molnar. Couric's wedding was in the backyard of her home in East Hampton, New York, according to People magazine. She tells them, we wanted to keep the wedding just very low-key. Reportedly in attendance of 50 of the couple's closest friends and family. And the voice is coming back. The first promo for season seven is out, featuring new coaches Gwen Stefani and Pharrell Williams. Judges Adam Levine and Blake Shelton will be back in joining them. The new season premieres on NBC September 22nd. For one blissful night, gentlemen. Think Like a Man 2 took the top spot at the box office, bringing in an estimated $30 million in its opening weekend. We're like a power couple. In second, 22 Jump Street, raking in $29 million. Ah, that's a good boy. And in third, the animated movie How to Train Your Dragon 2 with about $25.3 million. For Hollywood Minute, I'm Christina Mutchler. That is all we have for entertainment. We'll be right back after the break. And we'd like to say happy birthday to Josh Whedon. Happy birthday. He's 50 years old, and I guess he is the 
uh, screenwriter producer of the Vampire Slayer or Buffy the Vampire Slayer and also has something to do with the Avengers. I think that has to do with him in that Captain America shield he has there. Uh -huh. I think Alex, our, our uh, director, is in love with him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Alex. Uh -huh. All right. So next we have an annual pageant that was held Friday. It proved beauty is only skin deep, at least when it comes to man's best friend. The 26th annual Ugly Dog Contest took place I think that at dog the has no butt. Sonoma Marin Fair. Now, three judges scored the dogs on special or unusual attributes, personality, and overall hideousness. <laughs> It says ugliness, but I need to change that word. <laughs> this year's winner was uh, Peanut. His owner, Holly Chandler of Greenville, North Carolina, says Peanut was seriously <laughs> burned as a peanut. puppy. I don't want a puppy to be burned to I win know, a contest, so though. Bad. It should be normally ugly, not just burned normally. ugly. <laughs> All right, have a good day.